Good afternoon. For my next experiment, I'm going to add sulfuric acid, H2SO4, to black copper 2 oxide I made earlier. There's a bit of fizzing here because of some residual copper carbonates within that mixture. So ignoring the bubbles, if I heat sulfuric acid with copper 2 oxide, I'm providing more kinetic energy for the particles, there'll be more collisions per unit time per second, and I've got it giving it a lot of energy, and the black copper 2 oxide will react with sulfuric acid in a displacement reaction, produce copper sulfate and water, so a metal oxide like copper oxide, plus an acid like sulfuric acid, will make a salt. Notice how I take it out of the flame when it fizzes up. You can actually feel the vibrations through the end of the tongue. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to now filter it, because it's difficult to see the colour, through filter paper into a conical flask. It takes a while to filter. The particles which are small enough will pass through the filter paper, and those that are large will get trapped and won't fall through the holes. So it takes a while. I'll bring it slightly nearer to the camera and you should be able to see the blue copper sulfate solution dripping through fairly slowly but enough that you can actually see some colour there. And so what happens is the stuff that gets filtered is the soluble material, the copper sulfate solution and that is called the filtrate because it's passed through the filter paper and has been filtered and any unreacted copper 2 oxide will be the residue will end up being stuck in the filter paper. So this is a great way of separating an insoluble residue stuck in the filter paper with a soluble filtrate that comes through there. So that's a solution which you will know is a mixture of a soluble solute and a solvent.